So what speed limit are we going into now? So we're going to a national speed limit, which, which is 60 on a single uh -huh. carriageway. So try and go above 40 at some point. Yeah, I am nervous on the on these roads. I'm still so. especially because there's a sharp bend, isn't there? Like, mm. up here. You do the best you can. I was very mindful of um, my left hand side as mm -hmm. well. With the, uh, it's like the widest of roads. This is where I accelerate. I keep accelerating until I see a junction, then I ease off a little, another yeah. junction. So that brown sign tells me there's a junction on the left, so I don't go too fast here. Yeah. Just in case somebody makes a wrong decision. Then once I go past the road, I now increase my speed okay. again. It's a straight nice road. Clear view, yeah. yeah, that's right. So it's a straight view in a straight line and it's clear. Yeah. Then I increase my speed above 40. So let's do that now. Remember, it's a 60 here. Yeah. So we need to show that we recognize a higher speed limit. So you need to go above 40 to show me you understand that you know it's above 40. I usually do about 50 here. Yeah. 45, 50 here. And then I go down again. Now where the 30 sign is, you need to be going below 30, below here. Previously, you're doing 34. So make sure you're doing 28, 29, perfect. Yeah. The rest was perfect. Yeah, I did notice that I coasted over that 30. Oh, they'll catch you out. Still, like now I'm looking, over. you're doing 31, and it's kind of raising my app. That's better. Right. Yeah, yeah, we don't want to be going over the speed limit for them. It's a shocking thing to fail a test on. Yeah. Trust me, it's happened to me, and I've never forgiven myself since. Now we're looking to the left and we can see the 30 sign. Yeah. And we can see the no overtaking on either side. Yeah. And now we can see the speed limit change again. Yeah. When you went through this, you're going 23. Right. So I need to be down right before. Right? Yeah. Before. Right? When you're going through that sign, you must be going below that maximum speed even if it's one mile an hour it's good A little bit of feedback there. Do you know when okay. you stop for the first car? Yes. You should have stayed there until the van went. Right. You've managed it perfectly fine, but I would have stayed there to avoid bottlenecking traffic. Yes, yeah, because there's a car opposite me, so... If something really big tried to come through... Yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden we've got You'd have problems. problems, yeah. At the end of the road, we're turning right, please. So this is where my car has a midlife crisis. Yes. It can't work out what it should be doing. But you are correct. So what they've done, they've removed the 40 from here. It used to be 40. It's now 40 after post house, after yeah. uh, the hotel or gym, whatever it's now. Used to be a hotel a long time ago. So, like my sat nav here shows 40. Yes. It should show 30. This is why they tell you your sat nav is uh, a guide. Mm -hmm. It's not an absolute, you are absolute.
Do you know what it says? Your speed beneath there, yes. it should show the maximum speed. It'd that make would life be really handy, wouldn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you'd, you'd know what it means. I mean, that sign is hired from, you know, the um, the safety office or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. You know, so that it's in a particular area for a couple of weeks and it moves on again. Right. But beneath it, it should show the maximum speed and your speed. Yeah, that'd be very, very useful, especially on this road. Yeah. Mm. This time when you get to the roundabout you will keep your car as close as you can to the left hand side pavement as possible without hitting the pavement. So it's straight on isn't it? Yep, second exit. You came into your lane perfectly fine but you are leaning to the right. Okay. I want you to lean to the left. To be A bit more to the left. Look in your right door mirror. That's good. Bit more to the left. That's fine. I'm happy with that. Don't go over the line, though. Don't go over the line. You're getting very close to the line okay. by holding your steering wheel. That's fine. Observation okay. for good day. Yeah, I need to be. Yeah, I need to be a bit looser. That's yeah. it. Yeah, that's for me. At, at the roundabout, go ahead. Second exit. This you did perfectly fine. speed limit's 50, so we want to be doing at least 45. going around the cyclist. In 37 when you went through that was good. Yeah. Now maintain 36, 36 and 38. Then when you go through the 30, make sure you're in 27, 28, 29. Yeah. And that's how you deal with it. Yeah. Yeah, you spot him out looking right down the road so you mm. know it's coming up. You're doing less than 30 when you're going yeah. through. You're doing 29, perfectly fine. But don't be doing 20 when you're going through. It's too much of a yes, speed drop. Yeah.
before you even do that, make regular right mirror checks so you're aware of what is in the lane on the right and how far they are from your car. Keep your speed above 35. So you're able to establish in real time what's going on. regular right mirror checks. After this triangle, move into the lane on the right. And now keep away from the line markings. We're turning right at the roundabout third exit. So I don't want you close to the line on the left when you position for your right turn. You mustn't be close to that line. As far as you can to the right. More, more, more. Good. Don't get close to that line. More to the right. Follow that curve of that pavement. That's good. Now look to your right. Once it's safe, then you go. Now when you come off the roundabout, you'll start accelerating. So do your routine. Come into the lane on the left. Now accelerate, go a lot faster. Keep an eye on that gentleman in the road. Go faster, build up your speed. Now the next roundabout, whether the roundabout is busy or not, you will maintain your lane discipline you'll make sure that you position as you normally would do and now look in your mirrors more often and do that by moving your head so it's obvious what you're doing you won't come in your lane don't worry Let's go a lot faster, otherwise you'll meet that car. Look, she doesn't know whether they're coming behind you or going in front of you. Right, to get a little bit closer to the car. Mm -hmm. Now look in your right door, mirror. Look ahead of you. It's fine, you're not doing anything wrong. Yeah. She made a poor judgment call. She paid for it. Tried to she wanted to go in front of you and she couldn't when yeah. that car couldn't get in. And it's because she's used to the area. She yeah, knows how it she works. Yeah, he's a little bit slower. He's a learner. Yeah. I'll just nip in front of him. Yeah. But then somebody else nips in front of him. There's no gap there. Yeah. Let's go a little faster. Look in your right door mirror. And that's somebody that knows the area very well. So he knows he can just go into that lane and fly straight down. And that's exactly what he's doing. Yeah. Watch out for others like him in the same door mirror. But do not go over that white line. So stay in your lane. Right mirror yeah. check. Never leave your lane until you've looked and it's safe to do so. Okay. Now the final part to correcting your driving was the roundabout. Now regardless of whether the roundabout is clear or not, mm -hmm. make sure your position is good. Let's go a little faster, we're going a little too slow. Okay. Get as close as you can to that line. Close as you can to the line on the right. That way we're not worried about anybody on our left. A bit more to the right, that's good. Follow the curve and when it's safe, go. Don't get worried about the bus, okay. you need to be going quicker. Right. And we're now going to pull up on the left between the black car and the white car, please.
Okay, ordeal over. Okay. How did you feel that went? That was better. Okay. So do you understand where you went wrong? Yeah, positioning. I I always feel like I'm not I I always feel like I've got less room on the right than I actually do. I think yeah. a lot of the time. I'm like you like get close I'm thinking, oh I'm 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 too close already and then I see him done. I've got like that. Yeah. You know? yeah. And every time you approach a roundabout, you approach the roundabout correctly, mm -hmm. but your observations like stutter in one direction. You're looking to the right and you keep focusing to your yes, right yes. and you forget to look to your left. Yeah. When you don't look to your left, what happens is a car, it's, if the roundabout is straight and the lane positioning is straight, mm -hmm. it doesn't affect you. Yeah. But if the roundabout bends to the left and everyone has to move left before you come onto a roundabout, you end up straddling lanes. Right. Why do you feel this driving with me? That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm.